Hi everyone, and welcome to this video tutorial for Code HS Assignment 3.12.4 Dartboard. Before we begin, make sure you're watching this video in the highest resolution possible so you can clearly see all the details on screen. Also, if you'd like to view captions in another language, click the gear icon on the YouTube player, select subtitles CC, and choose your preferred language. In this lesson, you'll write a Python program using Tracy the Turtle to draw a dartboard made up of four concentric circles. Let's connect this to what you've learned so far. You've already learned how to draw basic circles using the circle open parenthesis radius, close parenthesis command. You've also used variables to control size and movement. And recently, you were introduced to functions which help you organize code into reusable blocks. This assignment combines all three skills. Here's what your program should do. Draw four concentric circles. Circles that share the same center point. The smallest circle is in the center of the canvas and has a radius of 25. Each of the next three circles has a radius that is 25 pixels larger than the one before it. Use a variable called radius to control the size. And use a function to move Tracy to the correct starting spot for each new circle. Let's walk through how we can write this program step by step. We begin by setting up Tracy and our starting variables. Speed, zero. We'll set Tracy to the fastest drawing speed no delay. Radius equals 25. We'll set the starting radius of the first smallest circle. Next, we define a function to help reposition Tracy before each new circle is drawn. Def, move down, pen up, lifts the pen so Tracy doesn't draw while moving. Right, 90, turns Tracy to face downward. Forward, 25. Moves Tracy down by 25 pixels, the amount the radius increases. Left open parenthesis. 90 close parenthesis number sign. Turns Tracy back to her original direction, facing right. Pen down. Lowers the pen so Tracy can draw the next circle. This function is important because as the radius increases, we want the new circles to stay centered. To do that, Tracy needs to move down before drawing each bigger circle. Now we use a for loop to repeat this drawing process four times. For i in range four, repeat the following block of code four times. Move down. We'll move Tracy to the correct position for the next circle. Circle radius. We'll draw a circle with the current radius. Radius equals radius plus 25. We'll increase the radius by 25 for the next circle. This is a great example of how you can define a function and then call it inside a loop. It keeps your code organized efficient and easy to understand. Why it matters. When you define a function and call it inside a loop, you're reducing repeated code and keeping your program cleaner. You'll use this pattern, functions inside loops, in many future programs. It's a key concept in building smart, scalable solutions as a programmer.